I got a microphone. I'm in San Francisco. You know what that means. Let's go thrifting. Oh, you're gonna cut? No? Oh, this is awkward. Okay, let's go thrifting. Okay, first things first, we're gonna go to Polk Street, hit up a couple thrift stores. But to get there, I think we need some wheels. Guy just not rocketed on me. I love this city. And before we get too far into today's adventure, we actually went to a vintage store yesterday. So let's throw it back and head to North Beach. So right now we're heading to Vacation Vintage, which is one of my favorite little spots. And it's right on Washington Square Park and under the shadow of Coit Tower. It's trendy, come check it out. Corner of Grant and Union. You'll meet this small fellow. He'll show you the way. You guys, we just walked in here. It's the first thing I saw. I mean, the girlies who get it get it. Back when I lived in SF, vacation was my favorite vintage spot to find treasure. At their old location, they had this super creepy basement and you could go down there for basement sales. I know, doesn't sound suspicious at all. This new location, it's beautiful. Does not have a basement, I did ask. They have amazing stuff, it's not cheap, but if you wanna get yourself something real nice, something real unique, or have a special occasion that you wanna get something a little dressier for, this is your spot. Also, they have an Instagram where you can buy online, so if you can't make it to the city, there you go. Also, also, I had a very memorable conversation with someone here that I talk about at the end of the video, so stick around if you want to um, hear me embarrass myself. Okay, on with the show. And then from the small fellow, if you follow the footprints, you'll end up at work. Oh, not quite. So the first thing I'm noticing is that there's a lot of like costume wear in here. Tutus galore. Secondly, it's mostly like, I don't know, not the best quality stuff, but then there's randomly a Jeffrey Campbell thrown in there. So this is the kind of place that if you want to find something good, you really got to dig. Prepare yourself. Vintage little prairie number. How much are you? Mm, okay. I'm confused. This is apparently like a designer rack. Let's see what they got. And then we have loft. Wide breath, people. Wide breath. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A little bit and harness motif. Okay. Little Zara baby. Sorry. Pardon the chains. Big ol' coach mama. Just begging to be painted upon. It's only 50 bucks. That's pretty good. A lot of the other designer stuff here is definitely bootleg. So just be careful. Check the tags. Don't believe everything you see. This place is cool, but I'm not sure it's really 
totally my vibe, so we're gonna go next door to Out of the Closet. Let's go. She's handsome. Such a sucker for a little black bag. This is kind of cool. It's just this long kind of cable knit cardigan, but usually these things you would find in modern times, but this is definitely vintage. Original tag and everything. 36 bucks. Cute little square collar. Nice. Friend. Okay, so I found these little Italian plaits with this little ruffle high vamp. I think they're gonna fail. Let's try it. Is this like kind of a vibe with the little ruffle? It's definitely jaunty. I'll give it that. I think my feet would um definitely bleed. Wow. Coulda, shoulda, wish they worked. Found this 100% silk skirt, wrappy guy. Let's see if it works. <laughs> next stop with extremely full bellies we basically rolled here we're at if i could just one of the best thrift stores in the city salvation army family store let's go whoa this is incredible is that real burl wood i'm getting distracted we're not really looking for anything specific just kind of whatever treasure sparks our fancy i'm excited Gus found me a giant Lacoste shirt, like maybe shirt dress material. Let's try her. This is about to be so hot, temperature wise. Potentially also sexy level. <sighs> How big is too big? How much is too much? Cause this, this is a lot, but I kind of like it. Like someone was having a tea party over here. Magical. This black trench is kind of cool. Very San Francisco. Don't think I need it though. Um, this is beautiful. Just sitting here on the end of the rack. Nobody wants you? That's their loss. We're trying you on. Snoopy. Get you a man who finds you Snoopy. We're trying on some stuff, people. First up, popcorn tea. I've never actually had one of these. Uh, is that a lie? I think I just lied to you. This smells sour. I'm not gonna try it on. <laughs> it's far too hot to be doing this. You better be worth it, sweater. Interesting. Upon further inspection, I think this is too itchy. I'm not even gonna try this on. What am I doing? Has that ever happened to you? You grab stuff to try it on, and then once you get there to actually try it on, you're like, that was a different person. That wasn't me. Not gonna lie, we haven't had the best luck thrifting this trip, this day. Well, that's okay. Thrift gods don't always smile upon us. I didn't know it was like that, thrift gods, but I get the message. Also, something's haunting me. Ooh, these are cool. Yesterday when we were at vacation, the vintage store, I talked to the person working there just to make sure it was okay if I filmed. And they said, oh yeah, sure. I mean, as long as you're not like super problematic or something. And for some reason, my uh, response to that immediately was, oh, me, I'm not problematic. I'm from Ohio. Why would I say that? I'm gonna think about that till the day I die. On that note, I think it's time we head home. What do you say? I always forget that you can't respond to me. Okay, we were just about to walk out and I went, wait, wait, wait. And I found my literal dream shoe. Funny story. My friend Lee had these and I always wanted them, but they didn't sell them anymore. And I found them at the thrift store, but they had like patent leather. And so I got them and they were always a little too small and they weren't the leather like I liked. Hello. Uh, I don't know if they fit though, so we're gonna try them on really quick. Come on, mama needs a new pair of Via Spigas. Yes, they fit. They freaking fit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back, Thrift Gods. I should have trusted you. Thrift Gods work in mysterious ways. And mysterious ways are the best ways. <laughs> Oops, came out the wrong door. Hold on. I'm back. And I've said it once, I've said it a million times, life's too short to not match your hair to your tiger dress. <laughs> I've entered my autumn fall leaf hair era. And by that I mean, much like the autumn leaves, as we progress through the season, my hair will change from copper to potentially a fiery shade of red to brown. And then I guess the end of this story is that it all falls off. 
kind of lost the metaphor there. I've got some things to show you. Going on this trip to the Bay Area, I was going to be totally happy if I came back with no new stuff. I really just wanted to look, take you along with me, see what happened. So when I found this thrashed Dogs and Cats by PF Magic t-shirt on the first day at Vacation Vintage, literally, I could die happy. And I mean that. Now, I posted this shirt on my Instagram story right after I bought it to share my excitement, and a couple of you were like, that game was my childhood. You're my people. And for those of you who are not my people, become my people as I regale you with the tale of this game. It's 1996. You're in preschool. And by you, I mean me. I'm just a little baby in preschool. And I have a best friend named Chloe. She's a year older than me. She's everything I want to be when I grow up. I understand that's doesn't say much because I'm, I don't know, like four and she is five. <laughs> but still, we play pretend like we're cats every day. Every day. Specifically Aristocats. And of course, because she's older, she gets to be Duchess and I have to be Marie. Still salty, but it's fine. The school year comes to a close. She graduates. She moves on to kindergarten and I'm left alone. Until I get a phone call on the landline. It's Chloe. She said, my mom said you could come over this weekend if your mom says it's okay. It's happening. And she takes me into her family computer room. I remember she has one of these mice. And she says, we don't have to pretend to be kitties. We can literally have kitties. Huh? Enter cats too. And my world has changed forever. And you may think, oh yeah, I played Nintendogs. I get it. No, this is the grandfather of Nintendogs. This predates the Tamagotchi release in the United States. The one true sole ancient ancestor of the pet simulator, Pets by PF Magic. And if you've ever played these games, specifically the earlier ones, you know that they're pretty simple. You just have a cat or a dog running around on your window screen and you can play with bones and balls and catnip. And my favorite thing, you could spray them with a love potion and also physically rub the two animals together and they could have a baby. This is also my first experience with downloading mods. Yes. As a very small child, we were Googling dragon mod for pets too, elephant mod for pets too, unicorn mod for pets too. And her dad very kindly helped us install them because we had no idea what we were doing. Once we got into elementary school, we were in different schools. We didn't keep in as close of touch. Okay, that's kind of a lie. We definitely still instant messaged each other about our favorite uh, deviant art posts and web comics about anthropomorphized cats. There should be no surprises here. And although life has taken us in different directions, we will always be strangely jointed, gumball eyeballed kittens in my heart. Okay, initially I was like, let's go all black, all white, have kind of like a grungy but girly moment. And I like it, although this shirt definitely needs an oxy clean. <laughs> There's not enough contrast here. So we also have the little black platform sandals that I picked up at the last stop when we were thrifting. I also have black leather bag, black leather jacket. So let's try this with the all white underneath. This is feeling cooler, a little more put together. I really do like all of the black leather with the creamy tones. Cool. Maybe we'll do a little cross body. I like this bag because I think it's meant to be like a waist bag. So so if I do crossbody, it's like super short. Very cool urban detail. There's something in here. It's long, it's skinny, it's a tampon. Let me show you what else I picked up. So I think you saw me try on this silk skirt at Out of the Closet, and I was just instantly so enamored by it. This rich, almost ultraviolet hue. The tassels. Listen, let me tell you something about tassels. I like them. That's all I have to say. I think this purple paired with this almost mustardy olive green top in this ox bloody bag feels like a really autumnal palette that you don't see very often. I also think this skirt would be so pretty during the holidays paired with like a big chunky sweater and some boots, although I'm still rocking my sandals because because. And I kind of want to see what this would look like styled more as like a, a cape, a bottom cape. Uh, let me just show you one sec. Okay, listen, don't be alarmed. I am wearing a Furby bolo tie. If you haven't had the absolute delightful pleasure of meeting Dina yet, she makes the most heartbreakingly cute and nostalgic items, whether it's jewelry or furniture. And she made me this gorgeous beaded Furby. I'll link the video down below. I think it's a fun pop of color for this otherwise very kind of like sassy witchy outfit. Is it only sassy because I can stick my leg out like this? Yeah. 
probably. This is what I meant by like a little waist cape and can show off these amazing handmade, very Halloween-y and very long trousers I recently found thrifting. I love how they puddle even while wearing like little kitten heels. Sassy, like I said. Also, oh, falling through the deck. No, not again. I'm also trying my hand out wearing like a thick choker cuff necklace. I kind of like it. It's just a belt and probably not something I would actually wear in real life in fear of, I don't know, being strangled. But for these intents and purposes, it looks pretty cool. Furby, are you sleepy? You're sideways. This is undercover witch goes on a Tinder date. It doesn't go well, so she just takes herself on a date to the bookstore afterwards. Honestly, sounds great. Well, what'd you think? Let me know down below what your favorite find was. I honestly feel very blessed by the thrift gods that I found all three of these items. I think the cats and dogs t-shirt, although it wasn't thrifted, I did get it from a vintage store. That like cuts deep and hits very close to home for me. So I think that's my favorite. And finally, if you have any childhood video game memories that are just so deeply nestled in your psyche that they made you the person you are today, like pets did for me, drop them down below. Let's psychoanalyze ourselves based on the wild and crazy video games we played as children or other things maybe it was a book maybe it was a movie was anyone else mentally scarred by gallivants as a child or an adult if you enjoyed adventuring with me this week or if you're a fellow child raised on dogs or cats please feel free to subscribe if you'd like i'd really appreciate it it seems like most people that subscribe have a good time here so i think you would too and with that i'm gonna get out of here and by that i mean i'm gonna go play uh dogs and or cats because i do have it downloaded on my PC. What else is a gaming PC for? You're stinky and I love you and goodbye.